Do you want to do like interview style? Like Welcome <laughs> to the weekly installment of one thing I learned recently. <laughs> That's the intro. Coach Logan. Coach Abby. On a plate. Yep. Because she is not 5'9". No. Not even close. Dang liar. Mm-hmm. It's all, that's it's all the story. That's something that you learned this week, that I'm not this tall. Hmm. The construct that's coming through that screen developed by us to tell you a story, this mm -hmm. is a level of manipulation mm -hmm. that has been represented in the world mm -hmm. every single day for the rest of your life. Simulation! It's a simulation! <laughs> One thing I learned recently, this is all simulation. <laughs> Look up simulation theory if you want to feel like you're not important. Yeah. Or just space. Or if you feel like you are the center of the universe and you don't know that you're the center of the universe, you wouldn't know you're the center of the universe because ignorance is bliss. But simulation theory will make you definitely feel like you're not the center of the universe. Yeah. Or it'll make you feel like the simulation. And then it's Truman Show. Mm -hmm. And then the whole universe is for you. Mm -hmm. Double-edged sword. Could go either way. I don't know. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Potato, potato. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> This is what happens when I do intros. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, if you ever watch Lou later, man, that guy gets me hyped. Oh, yeah. All right. So he's great. One thing we learned recently. You can go for it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, one thing I have learned about recently. But the floor is down. Uh, yes. <laughs> and also the and, notes. Yeah, the notes are <laughs> over there, <laughs> really in the line of sight. Yeah. Um. Is well, I've been listening to a book that is all about um, the prevalence and presentation of male depression. Mm -hmm. And so I've been learning about that a lot recently and I find it uh, very interesting. I find anything in that vein recently about any, any humans. Um, so this is something that I haven't specifically spent a ton of time learning on uh, specifically for men. So mostly just about people in general. So it's really, neat to listen to this book and um yeah <laughs> learn all about um those kind of things of course i can't use i can only use those tools to help me attempt to understand people um in a different way or in a better way um, but can never use any of those tools to diagnose or anything like that that's not why i enjoy learning that stuff um, i love to understand people and um, yeah. So, but it is uh, very prevalent and unknowingly so. So, so it's a little bit sad. Speaking on to that topic, why do you think it's so prevalent? And this is just more of us having a conversation about it. This is not advice or anything like that, but just a conversation yeah, yeah. specifically. Well, I mean, there opinions. definitely is like research within in the book mm -hmm. that kind of explains parts of why it is that way. Um, but there's a lot of and it's for women too but this speaking specifically of what i've been learning about um there's a lot of societal and like so i guess it would be societal familial whatever expectations on men and women um to be a certain way in the world and um that presents itself in different ways mm -hmm. um essentially it's, or my, my biggest takeaway is it's from people not feeling comfortable or allowed to be who they are and express themselves uh, and express their emotions. And that turns into really large, um, you know, societal issues and um, things that really end up impacting everybody in some way. And so I, I don't know. There's just a lot, there's a lot to it. Um, but I, I think part of what it comes down to is people not feeling comfortable expressing themselves or being emotional or, um, you know, breaking the mold of whatever the stereotypes for them are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So, um, and there's a lot of shame in there as well, woven in. Um, for men and for women, um, there's a lot of shame to cover up <laughs> with certain defenses, behaviors, things of that nature. Um, and 
to, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty sad. Right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. and compl it's complex and sad, but definitely an empathy builder. So if you're in, if you're interested in growing and building your empathy and understanding for how people work and why maybe they work in certain ways, certainly not excusing certain, like, Certain things aren't okay. Um, so definitely not an excuse for self-responsibility or any of those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, definitely look up I Don't Want to Talk About It by Terrence Real. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> We're going to link it. Yeah. We'll just link it. Yeah. Make it Did I answer your question? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Do you have any more questions? Um, no, just kind of like a follow-up comment. Okay. Yeah, the like the societal pressures or whatever has like deemed whoever looks at them looks at themselves as a male mm -hmm. that pressure that has been yeah. passed on generationally mm -hmm. whether it be i mean you had multi-generations where people were going to war world war one world war two korea vietnam gulf war there's a level of trauma that occurs throughout all those mm -hmm. events ptsd depression that comes from that and like growing up in a military town the homeless population, everyone in general is military. Mm -hmm. So you and then they're male. So yeah, I, the stats in the yeah, book are so sad about that. So just even from like <laughs> my own experience, mm -hmm. um, it's it's difficult to watch because you can't you you can't process it freely. And then we're so behind on the times mm -hmm. as a society on actually allowing mental health to be considered important. Mm -hmm. Just there, just like. But... Oh, people need to work out and walk 30 minutes a day. People mm -hmm. should probably all go to therapy mm -hmm. or at least have someone where they can be in a, a group and be able to talk about what they need mm -hmm. to talk about and not feel like they can't be themselves. So, space to be yourself. Right. So, <clears throat> it's just a overwhelming societal pressure to conform to what might be an actual incident that, is some, that has occurred that allowed them or hasn't allowed them to be themselves or they had no choice because it was survival. Mm -hmm. So that trauma caused yeah. survival and those habits, bad habits yeah. have formed into these things that have kind of led them to not right. be themselves. Yes. So that being said, what did I learn? <laughs> what did you learn recently, Logan? I learned that meeting people where they are um, sometimes means you have to accept every single thing about them and be okay with it. So what that can look like, if someone, even for your example, someone, you you want them to do better, you want them to feel better. Like mm -hmm. if, they are, if they're trying to improve themselves nutritionally or they're overweight and they want to do all these things and they say they want to do all these things, there's a lot of saying and no doing and you just, you know that there's steps that they should be taking in order to get to where they need to be because you've experienced it or whatever the process process is. But knowing that you can't be frustrated, you can, mm -hmm. but you, you're not, you're not doing, you're only making yourself stressed. You're only yeah. making yourself anxious. You're only making yourself worried. The best analogy that I've been able to come up with this is if you're trying to play catch with somebody, and you have the ball ready and you just launch it at them and they're trying to catch it with closed fists, you can't expect them to catch the ball and throw it back to you. Mm -hmm. Like in this analogy, if you're still throwing, you're like, come on, this is the awareness. Here you go, catch it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I can't quite do it, sorry. And they're like, they don't even know that their hands can do this. Mm -hmm. This is the life they live. And until they themselves know that they can actually open their hands to catch the ball, mm -hmm. there's no reason to even chunk that stuff so you're getting frustrated because they can't catch it but they don't know how right. and you're not gonna be able to teach them until they figure it out for themselves you can steer them along in the right direction give mm -hmm. them a little bit of guidance if they come up to you and they're like hey i have this ball and i think i want to throw it but i don't like how do we go about doing this mm -hmm. like okay here let me show you and then then at that point they're like oh trying to make the effort mm -hmm. Then, within this analogy, then you can maybe start to play catch with somebody. But don't be frustrated that you can't play catch with somebody when they just don't know how. Yeah, right. Right. Or play the, like, yeah. Play the game. Yeah. Yeah. You can't um, force awareness. Right. And from a coaching perspective, at least for, for me, 
what I think of it as, as like, as a coach, you need to understand, like, okay, we are not, we can't play catch yet, so, and I see that their hands are like this, or, you know, whatever, so I need to teach them how to, like, move their pointer finger. Mm-hmm. And help them come to understand for themselves that that's where they need to start. And Or sometimes they can catch something that's this far. Yeah. With a body catch or something yeah. like that. Or something really analogy. soft or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, yeah. um, you know, it's just a- adjusting. Yeah, that's really good to do. Yeah. So, interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just have to accept right. what you can control and what you can't. Mm-hmm. But, wait, accept... Just accept everything. Yeah. And don't worry about what you can't control. <laughs> yes. And then accept that you can't control it. Mm-hmm. Worry about your own. Right. Cool. Um, questions? Do you have any questions? Any follow ups? Um, follow up questions on. Sounds how to like people. you don't. So <laughs> I think your analogy pretty much sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I definitely could think of something. No, but... that's fine. There's will be more times. Yeah. Next weekly installment. Mm-hmm. So leave any questions below, mm-hmm. but also let us know if there's anything you've learned. It's always fun yeah. to read what you learned, talk about it, type about it. If you learned anything from this. It can be anything. You know, like I was today years old when I realized that longitude and latitude are <laughs> <laughs> what they are. <laughs> Yeah. I was today years old when, oh, that is something else I learned recently that the full word for recon is reconnaissance. You just recognized. <laughs> just <laughs> going to recognize I, recognition. Yeah. I, reconnaissance. Yeah. Wow. That was like two weeks ago. So, um, yeah, 29 and almost a half. And I just learned that. All right. All right. Well. Thanks for learning with us. Yep. Until next time. (laughs) Bye, everybody. Boom.